Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install Eclipse IDE for developing C and C++ program on your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 or Windows 7 operating system. For downloading and installing Eclipse on your system, you need three things. One is Java runtime environment because Eclipse is a Java based IDE. Second is Eclipse IDE itself for developing C and C++ and third is the compiler which we will use to compile our C or C++ programs. So we are going to install them one by one. First of all you need to install Java JDK on your system. So just search for Java JDK. So there is a simple test uh, if java jdk or java runtime environment is present on your system you just right click your windows uh, button here and in here open command prompt and just type java c and if it gives any response then java is installed on your system otherwise it's not so i already have java so that's why it has given me the response but if you don't have, just search for Java JDK and the first link most probably come here is www.oracle.com. Just click this uh, link and in here, just ask me later, click ask me later and in here, you will find Java. Okay. And at the time of making this video, this version Java Platform 8 U25 is the latest. So just click java don't click netbeans netbeans is the ide so click uh, this java button here and in here you need to accept the license terms and condition and choose uh, your operating system my system is windows 64 so i will choose this and in front of this click this executable file and download this okay so i will save this on my system so while this is downloading in a meantime i will uh, install or download this uh, compiler which we will use to compile our C in C++ program. So there are many options available on internet to download this compiler and I found the compiler which is latest version of, of uh, compiler and this site provides this compiler. So just search for equation.com www.equation.com and when you go inside this website you will be able to see this kind of interface and in here you need to go to programming tools and in programming tools you need to click Fortin comma C comma C++ and in here when you go down you will be able to see different uh, releases of GCC compiler okay so we want to uh, download and install the latest version so i will uh, choose the last one which is 4.9.1 and i have 64 bit operating system so i will choose this one which says gcc minus 4.9.1 dash 64 dot exe we want to download executable file so make sure it's exe file just click this link and save this file and this will be saved in some moments also and the third option or third thing we need is eclipse ide itself so search for eclipse download and the first link most probably will come here from eclipse.org slash download just click this link and in here there are uh, different version of eclipse available so there are versions for eclipse for developing java or developing PHP or other programming language just but what we are interested in is this one Eclipse IDE for C and C++ developers right so we want to download this and depending upon the type of your windows if you have windows 64 bit click this one or if you have windows 32 bit click this one so I have windows 64 bit so I am going to click this one windows 64 bit and now it will uh, redirect you to the nearest mirror to you. So this is the nearest mirror image of uh, Eclipse IDE 
to my location but it can be different from your location also so just choose this link and download eclipse on your system i will save it so i have three downloads on my pc one is the java jdk other is the gcc compiler and third is the eclipse uh, ide itself okay so first of all we will install java jdk i already have but i'm going to show you how you can do it you just need to uh, run this uh, jdk executable file and so it will uh, run this executable file and once it will run this executable file you will be able to install this java on your system okay so once this installation of java jdk is complete on your system just need to check whether it's really present on your system or not so i'm going to cancel this install because i already have it but i will ch tell you what to do next okay. so it says this software is already been installed on your computer so i will say would you like to reinstall no but once you run this executable file and java is installed on your system you need to go to your c folder of your computer and in that go to program files and in here in program files you will be able to see this folder called java and in here you will be able to see two folders one is jdk 8 point something and other one is jre folder i have changed the name of this folder uh, earlier they were something like java j uh, they were like jdk one point something so i for simplicity i changed these name to jdk8 and jre8 jdk uh, stands for java development kit and jre stands for java runtime environment so if they are present you what you need to do is go to the jdk folder which says jdk in its initials and go to bin folder in here all your uh, binary and executable file will be there so what you need to do is go to your system so search for system and in system you need to set environment variable for java so in here just go to advanced setting and environment variable and in path go to path and in this path you need to paste this link here so just copy this link and paste it here after giving a semicolon similarly you need to do it for this jre folder go to jre bin and in here just copy this path and give here a semicolon and paste this link here okay so i ha have already done that so i'm not going to do this because I already have C program files Java slash JRE8 slash bin in here. Okay. So this sets JRE and JDK environment variable on your system. Once you do have done with that, we are done installing Java on our system. Okay. The next thing we uh, want to do is we will install this GCC. So just open this gcc minus 4 point whatever version you have installed and just run this executable file on your system so i'm going to run this on my system and here comes the most important part of uh, this uh, video which uh, we i will show you in a moment so in here you need to accept the terms and condition and here you need to get do the changes so by default this will give you uh, some location and this location you need to change because eclipse search for its uh, ide uh, its compiler at certain location which is fixed so just delete this and just write c colon slash so just write uh, something like this c colon and then backslash and then just write m i n g w and min g w with a capital so in min g w m 
G and W should be capital. Okay, so capital M and small I N and then G W. Exactly the same path you need to choose. Now click install and this GCC will be installed on your system in some moments. And once it's done, by the meantime it's installing, we are going to uh, extract our Eclipse IDE because it's a zip file uh, which you have uh, downloaded. So just open this zip file and in here it will contain one folder which is Eclipse. Okay, so this Eclipse folder you can extract to uh, your uh, C folder and in C folder you can extract to program files. Otherwise you can extract it on, on your preferred location. But I will choose to extract this on my C file. So I will go to C and C I will just extract it in my C folder itself. Okay, so I will click OK and this will extract this eclipse file in here okay so once this eclipse file will be extracted we will be able to see this folder in my c folder this eclipse folder right and this is the min gv folder which we have uh, installed on our system using this gcc tool which is still running so I will uh, let them install and once this both processes are complete then we I will show you how you can uh, uh, run Eclipse okay so now GCC is installed in my system and Eclipse folder is also extracted so I will uh, see uh, go inside my C folder and in, uh, inside my C folder I will find Eclipse folder I will go inside my Eclipse folder and you will be able to see this icon called Eclipse. So you can just right click it and you can pin it to the start or pin it to the taskbar. So I will pin this to my taskbar so that I don't need to go to this location again and again. Right Now I can just click this icon and Eclipse will start on my system. So for the first time whenever you start Eclipse it will workspace and workspace is nothing but the location where all your project will be uh, you know stored so this is the default location it will choose to store uh, our programs which is c slash user slash whatever your computer name is slash workspace just i will leave them as default this folder is default and click ok and now eclipse will start on my system so now it's going to start so once this eclipse is started on my on your system you will be able to see this kind of uh, ide so we have successfully installed and run Eclipse. Now once it's done, you can uh, go to overview or what's new or samples. But uh, we are interested in, you know, making our first uh, program, for example, Hello World program, right? So what we are going to do here is we are going to open this perspective which is this one just click the small c and c plus plus button here and in here what you need to do is now for the first time whenever you run eclipse we need to do some settings so just go to this windows uh, tab here and in here click preferences and in the general category here just click this general category triangle and in this uh, general category there will be more categories we need to go to this workspace category and in this workspace category in the text file encoding by default it's uh, windows text file encoding but most of the time when we develop c and c++ programs uh, we want to use 
UTF-8. Okay, and in here other in the new text file line delimiter also you need to choose Unix because Unix is the standard uh, and using this you will be able to see, use your source file on uh, other operating system including Windows or Linux or other operating system. Okay, apply these changes and click OK. Once again go to the Windows uh, tab and click preferences and in here you need to go to this time c and c plus plus c slash c c plus plus and in here in new c slash c plus plus project wizard you need to choose this option which is min gw okay because we have installed min gw gcc so choose this option and click make tool chain preferred okay so once you have done that apply these changes and click ok and now we are going to create our first c++ program so go to this file tab go to new and then click for example if you want to create c++ project click c++ project and give the name of your project for example test1 is the project name and i want to create hello world project for me okay so i will choose this and min gw is uh, already our preferred gcc compiler so you don't need to choose this otherwise you can just select this and click next you can uh, you know give your author name this these are optional steps but if you want to do this it's okay click next and click finish and once you do this you will be able to see eclipse has generated a program for you which is this one which is the hello world program okay so now the hello world program is created automatically for us what we need to do is we just need to click this run or this green button and if it says launch failed binary not found because we haven't compiled our program yet okay so you need to build or compile your program first in order to run it okay so in here go to project and click build all okay so go to project and build all or otherwise there is a option here to build all also so you can choose this icon or you can just choose build all okay so it will build your program and once your program is built it will generate a binary so once this binary is generated when when you click this uh, run button it will run your program and it will say hello world which is this message here okay so we have successfully installed Eclipse IDE on our system and we have already created our first Eclipse uh, C++ project and we have successfully able to run this project. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment and subscribe and bye for now.